Today, let's learn the loop knot. This simple and fast knot should be used during any situation where you have lures or tackle that need action to work properly. We'll first learn the knot and then some common situations where it's most useful. I'll also explain when you should never use this knot, so make sure to watch the whole video all the way to the end to make sure you aren't making a very common mistake. So let's get right into it. So the first step of this knot, prior to putting your tag end through your tackle, is you're gonna take your line and you are going to create a loop in your line. So you have a little loop and then you're gonna take your tag end and you're gonna run it around and through your loop. So you're creating just a very basic loop in your line. So you're gonna cinch that down to maybe just under the size of a dime or so, a little bit smaller if you'd like. And before we run this through the tackle, I wanna show you something that's gonna be important here in a minute. So, as you can see from your loop, your little circle here, it's not exactly right in line with the tag end and the main line. It kind of has an end that points down and, a, and an end that points up. And that's gonna be important here in a second. So keep that in mind. You can pinch your loop, right? And at this point, you can run the tag end of your line through your hook or your tackle. So now you need to take your tag end and run it through your loop. Well, this is where what we were just talking about matters. So you're gonna take it and instead of running it through either side, you're gonna pick the side of the loop that's facing down, right? The side that's kind of facing downward here, you're gonna run your tag end through that side, like so. So then you can bring it all the way up, take all that slack out, and now what you have is your tag end and your main line both coming up from that loop. And once that's tight against the eye of your hook or your tackle, you can go ahead and pinch those things together. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take your tag end and wrap it about three or four times around your main line, okay? Now the very last step to this knot is you're gonna run your tag end back down through your loop. And if you look at it, once again, there's a side that faces up and a side that faces down. And what you want to do is run your tag end through the side of the loop that faces up right here. And this kind of makes sense because if you tried to run it through the other side of the loop, you'd have to come around and kind of angle it down and run through that way. It doesn't quite make as much sense when you're looking at it as just running this straight down through the loop like so. Okay. So, Take the slack out. Now, once you get to here, go ahead and wet your line. Now what you can do is take the slack out of your tag end and then go ahead and pull the knot tight and it cinches down. At this point, as always, you wanna trim your tag end, leaving a little bit left so that it's not cut all the way flush with the knot. And now that the knot's complete, you can see what the purpose of this knot is and where it gets its name. You've created a loop and that's not going to cinch down. This knot is complete. It's not going to pull any tighter. So what this knot allows your tackle to do is move freely. So if this hook was, for example, holding live bait, that live bait could present in the current so that it presents more naturally. Or we'll show you here in a moment a lure that can present more naturally and has more movement than a standard knot which would be obviously tied tight against the eye of the hook and wouldn't allow for that movement. So that's the purpose and the utility and kind of what makes this knot unique. So let's look at it one more time. Before we deal with our tackle, we need to make the loop in our line. Go ahead and make your loop, however you like to do that. Then with your loop in place, you're gonna take the tag end, run it through the eye of your tackle all the way up to the loop. Now at this point, you need to look at your loop and see which direction points down and which direction points up. So we can see in this case that right here is the direction that's pointing downward. So that's the direction that I'm going to run the tag end up and through the loop. Take the slack out, pinch the loop and the base of your hook, then go ahead and run your tag end around your main line about three times. Now, look at your loop. It probably will be the opposite side, obviously. You're gonna take your tag end and run it through the side of the loop that's facing up. Again, this is gonna be what makes the most sense just looking at your loop. So you're gonna run that through your loop all the way down, pull the slack out, go ahead and wet your line. Go ahead and pull it tight. Clip your tag end, you've completed your loop knot.
Now, probably the most common situations where you want to use this knot are when you're tying on hooks for live bait that you're presenting in moving water or in current, or if you're tying on swim baits where extra action helps them present properly, or if you're using jigs or other lures that the action really helps them present in the best way possible. These are the common situations where you'll likely find yourself using the loop knot. Now, here's a situation where you never want to use this knot. If you're using a lure or a piece of tackle that needs action to work properly, but it already has a split ring attached to it, this knot should not be used. That's because the split ring is already creating the same effect that the loop knot would, which allows the lure to move appropriately. So this will be situation and tackle dependent, but if you're fishing in situations where you need your hook to be limited or controlled in movement, or it already has a split ring, you should instead use a knot that provides a direct secure attachment to that tackle. If you wanna know how to tie a fast and easy knot that works great in those cases, check out the video above. Aside from that, I really hope this video was helpful to you. Please subscribe if it was and to see more like it. Thanks a lot for watching.